kind of difficult to help people out whenever stuff's been taken the way his has by somebody you thought you was partners with that's going to help you in business. So, let's see what the situation is over here. What he told me, you know, he was wanting to, uh, he had called me whenever he found out my transmission was going bad and said, don't worry about that transmission. If it blows, we're going to take care of it. And uh, he had said something about there were some vehicles that uh, got flooded out that uh, needed transmissions or whatever in them. They were going to try to help them out so they can go get their loved ones that were evacuated. Or even uh, people that uh, were trying to get food to people, you know, that needed help. You know, help them get their cars going so that would, uh, you know, about to help out with the rescue efforts. You know, they may not be rescuing anybody, but they're bringing them food. It's still rescue. It's helping. And now he's... Uh, kind of disabled so getting parts at this time is going to be difficult we're going to see what uh what he's got to say let's find out what we got going on here guys What's up Corbett? You're on live here. This is my brother-in-law Corbett. He's over here. Look at him. So, this is my father-in-law Fred. Trying to help out people, but his place got robbed. So, yeah, Fred, well, uh, tell us what happened real quick. Well, but, my employees come in here and got his tools and took whatever else he wanted. Stuff that you're planning on helping people get their yeah. transmissions going, huh? Yeah, if I can get transmissions on. We even yep. took some of the rebuilt kits I'm building on right now. Yeah, see, Fred uh, had got calls that people were wanting to come. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little around the shop, show people what happened in here. Y'all got hit hard, too, with water. Look, he's got water damage, and he's not worried about it. Fred was more worried about helping people out, and he's got his own problems. But uh, we're going to show y'all what happened over here. So he's saying, and who was who was the guy that did this again? Chuck McRae. So we're saying, yeah, Chuck, Chuck McRae McCray. decided to come in here and take all this stuff. The man that you helped get this business yes. going. No, all right. Yeah, he helped him out. Now Fred's trying to help people out, and they've uh, come and took his tools. Where were the? See, y'all had parts all in here. Yeah, I remember y'all transmission. Parts. All these parts were stocked full in here. Yeah, they just all kits. they just put some more kits they found back on the shelf. But this shelf was just filled, chock packed full of parts. Kits that they're planning on helping people. Uh, yeah, get the car going. You know that table right there? This table here had some transmissions ready to go. And had three back over there. And had some more over there. They still got a few old parts laying around, but all this stuff got underneath water. And so I know they're trying to do what they can with what they got, but you know they got hit pretty hard. The water was deep in here too. Y'all can see yeah, that. Three to four feet. Yeah, the water line's way back over there, but you know, so we're gonna. He go try to do what he can do, but kind of limited when somebody wants to come in and take advantage and steal the parts from you. All their tools got wet, lost a lot of their parts. A lot of tools been taken that wasn't supposed to be taken. So we're gonna see what happens. Chuck McRae, hope you can uh, hope you can get your heart right, and do it, do the right thing. We're coming back, Chip. Yeah, we're gonna rebuild. We're gonna be all right. But he's gonna. He, he can't keep Fred down. Back. Fred's gonna be ready to start getting people back on the road again. And Corbett it? right here, man. Corbett, Corbett, what are you gonna do? You go, you go get people going. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Amber too, huh? Look at Amber over here working their tails off. Hey, look at the name on the sign. Chuck's transmission. Where's Chuck at? Chuck done took his shit and hauled ass. Ain't that a shame? Ain't that a shame? This man right here put all a lot of yeah. his money, hard-earned money, to help that man put his name on that sign. And this is the gratitude. Hmm. Tell you what, people that help the most get screwed the hardest. But that number's still gonna be good. And uh, y'all get a hold of me or Fred and try to take care of y'all. He gotta make money too, so don't expect everything for free.